The Fujifilm X-T5 is awesome for portraiture and street photography, but can the latest and greatest X-T camera handle the demands of shooting sports? Well, I wanted to find out for myself, and in today's video, I'm going to show you a ton of photos and discuss my experience using the X-T5 for sports. What's up everyone, thanks for joining me as always. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you like what you see and what you hear. Special thanks as usual to my friends at b &H Photo for sending me the amazing Fujifilm 50-140 to f2.8 lens for testing. I'm going to release a full review of this awesome lens soon, and most of the photos in this particular video were taken with the 50 to 140. If you want to check out all the gear I use, just click on my B&H gear page below. And while you're there, take a look at my other sponsors too. Now, I've been using the Fuji X-T5 every single day for about four months now. And I have really grown to love it for the majority of my work, which is headshots and portraiture. And it excels at portrait photography pretty much in every way. I've spoken at length in other videos about the excellent and fast autofocus, the image quality, and much, much more. But recently, I started shooting sports photography, something that I have not done since my college years, and I figured I would put the X-T5 to the test in this area as well. Now, I do own and take with me a Canon R5 when I'm shooting said sports, but as most of you know, Deep down inside, I'm a Fuji fanatic like you, and I figured the X-T5 would be up to the challenge of some college sports. Now, before I continue, I want to add that a great photographer will be able to take excellent images regardless of the brand that he or she uses. So just keep in mind that even though one camera might be faster than another or have better autofocus or a faster buffer, the reality is that you yourself are the deciding factor in the final images. The gear, however, of course, does play a very important role and can make your life much easier or much harder depending on how it handles difficult shooting situations. So first, let's talk autofocus. The autofocus in the X-T5 is excellent. It's fast, it's accurate, especially if your camera is paired with a lens that has a linear motor like the 50 to 140 that I've been enjoying over the past few weeks. When using the X-T5 for baseball games and track sports, the majority of my images were tack sharp and the camera was able to track my subjects whether they were running or jumping towards or away from the camera. For most of the photos in this video, I had the camera set to AF-C with release priority enabled, face and eye detection on, and I used custom setting option number two, which ignores obstacles and continues to track the subject. Now, there were times where the face eye detect got in the way, however, so I mapped the small button on the top of the camera next to the shutter release to turn face detection on and off. Let's talk about the mechanical shutter and the buffer. Now, I experimented using the electronic shutter, but I soon abandoned it because, as I expected, I had issues with rolling shutter, like wobbly baseballs. So I set the camera to continuous high, and I used the mechanical shutter exclusively. Now, it's certainly not as fast as my R5, of course, but the X-T5 is no slouch, and for a camera that's not intended for action, there were only a few times where I felt like it wasn't really keeping up with me. I was able to freeze baseballs in flight, which was one of my primary concerns when shooting a pitcher or a batter making contact with the ball. I was also able to capture runners doing long jumps, and I basically kept my finger down on the shutter from the moment they took flight through their entire landing. Through a four hour day of shooting, I had the buffer slow me down maybe two or three times, but it didn't completely stop at all and it quickly recovered. It actually fared better than I thought it would. Now, I should also tell you that I was shooting with the camera set to lossless raw plus medium JPEGs. And I have card two set as a backup to card one. And I found this to be an excellent compromise because I'm still getting raw files if I want to crop in a lot and do extensive editing. And the medium-sized JPEGs are going to look great right out of the camera, making it easy to send them and share them. I'm also using SanDisk Extreme Pro SD cards, and those help too. As most of you already know, there is no proper grip 
for the X-T5, which means you can't get a grip with a vertical shutter button at all. And like most Fuji users, I would have much preferred having this option for the X-T5. What I do have is the small rig metal grip and the small rig half leather case. Now both of these helped me with ergonomics and made shooting sports with the X-T5 much more comfortable while using the 50 to 140, which is not nearly as large as the Canon 70 to 208, but is big by Fuji standards. I didn't feel like the balance with the X-T5 was poor at all. And for some shots, I used the lens mounted to a monopod. When shooting handheld, which I did a lot, I just flipped the tripod collar around so it was out of my way, making it easier to use the zoom ring. And once I was shooting, I really didn't miss the vertical shutter button as much as I thought I would. Plus, I found that I was shooting primarily in landscape orientation, and if I wanted to get closer to the action, I simply cropped in post. The other thing that I did which made the handling much better for sports was I set my shutter speed dial to T. This way, the front command dial controlled my shutter speed instead of having to fumble with that physical dial. I didn't do this with the aperture ring because I found that that's pretty easy to adjust on the fly the way it is. Let's talk about exposure settings and the EVF. Now I know that common wisdom says we should shoot in TV or shutter priority mode when shooting sports, but this method simply does not work for me. As I do 99% of the time, I shoot everything, and I did for these images in manual mode, and I just made sure I had a fast enough ISO for daytime sports. I never went below 5.6, and I shot many of the photos wide open, so I was able to keep my ISO somewhere around 800 for the majority of the shots. When the scene changed, I found the easiest thing to do was tweak my shutter speed to get the exposure back to where it should be. And I did this, and I find this much easier than leaving it on TV and having to change exposure compensation if I'm shooting into a tricky lighting scene, like say a backlit scene or if there's a dark hedge behind my subject. Because these situations will give you an improperly exposed image and shooting manual for me is the easiest way just to tweak things. Now the EVF, which I used exclusively for these images, is probably the most derided part of the X-T5 since it's not nearly as high resolution as the EVF in the X-H2. But I set it to performance boost and I found it worked just fine. So should you go out and buy an X-T5 if you're a sports photographer? Well, the answer is no, of course, because if you were to purchase an X-H2S or an X-H2 for instance, you're getting cameras that are much faster pretty much in every way and designed for shooters who are going to do a lot of sports. But if you're an occasional sports shooter or you shoot sports in addition to a bunch of other things and you don't want to sacrifice your beloved analog dials, I think you'll find the X-T5 to be quite capable for sports and action photography. As I said, I was very impressed with the camera for sports and the results that I got. And the proof is in the pudding you can see in the photos I have here. All right, everyone. Well, that's all I have for you today. I hope that you enjoyed this video. And again, if you like what I'm doing here on YouTube, please do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. It helps me out, helps me make more videos, keeps me on the ball with making sure I release at least one video a week and all of that good stuff. Don't forget to visit my sponsors. If you're in the market for an X-T5 or any other kind of gear, Check out my gear page on b and and don't forget to use one of those links. Here's wishing you an awesome, awesome day. Go out and take some great pictures, everyone. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. <laughs>